I, I still can't. OBS won't let me drag things. No? Oh, well, that's dumb. Okay. I, wa I wanted to show the Baidoof. Can't you just, like, put up a, another image, like, uh... I can, like, like I can manually... Another... Yeah, just do, do that. Do a scene, image, it takes so much longer than just dragging and dropping, oh, no. though. I know. Hey, welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're playing Pokemon. Uh, Jack's a little bit sick, so we're doing something A little too. bit sick. That's, a lot of bit sick. Uh, that's a bit of an understatement. And... Was... Ooh. Hey, it's Baidoof. Hey! Is that CG or is that an actual I don't know. Animal? It's probably CG. It it looks like CG. It looks CG. Like yeah. Oh, uh, you you familiar, you're familiar with deep fakes, right? Deep fakes. Yeah, deep fake. It's a no. it's an AI algorithm, like recurrent neural net algorithm that allows you to put somebody else's face on like on like another person's body oh, okay is is that what they did for the the hey Greg, i'm fucking massive mate that is the that what the have you not seen the swole harry potter video i have not i because <laughs> i know that was like a face replacement technology thing uh it was probably deep fake yeah but uh but yeah the technology is like scarily good to the point where people are like worried that they're gonna use it to like to like fake political hit videos yeah and at that point i'm just like why don't people just like expand expand for wait is this gym outdoors so uh this is the pokemon mansion where i think the sooth bell is here so you do want to go in there cool give me a moment i need to find uh jack, jack is on route and i am at uh breeding town Oh shit! Where's the where's the the Pokemon uh, what? center? There is this isn't a town. It's just the mansion. Oh, this is just a mansion sitting in the middle of this route. Well, I guess I'm going to the Pokemon center. You were just at the Pokemon center at the town in the north. But do you need, do you look, need to look heal? at my look at my Pokemon. Yeah, I mean one of them's fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna heal them. Okay. Like, oh yeah, that's right. You're the walking guards. Walking all the way back north again. Yeah. I mean, is there healing in the mansion? No, there's also not a ton of trainers in the mansion, so who cares? Because I want to level my Pokemon. All right, it's fine. We got we got an infinite amount of time today. A near an an endless endless supply. eight. Endless eight. So hey, how about uh, we do how about we do the same episode over and over again, except we animate it differently each time, and drive our animators to insanity. What if they that did? That sounds like a good. That sounds like a good time. They do that with. Uh, what's the? Uh, yeah. What's like the ninja game where you plan out your thing? Oh, uh, Katana Zero. They do that for the Katana Zero anime. Oh, it's the same episode over and over. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the like uh, the, Ken, the final fight with with Shishio and Roroni Kenshin. Only it's actually like eight episodes, and each one is him thinking about how he's gonna do it and how it's not gonna work. Oh. And, and then on the seventh. The, and on the eighth attempt, he, 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 it works. Yeah. Oh, man. That would have been a hell of a final arc. It's just... Eight, that would seven, have... seven ways this could go wrong, and the and one way it didn't. That would have been more defensible for the Frieza fight, taking 20 episodes. It's just... If the first seven were Goku imagining it and him failing. Oh, like... Like, no, you think that how, won't work. You think how that's how Goku does uh, does every one of his fights? It's just him just doing an internal Sherlock scan. Lots of image training. Discombobulate. Did you heal? Yes, I did. Look at the stats. Oh. All right. Let's soothe the bell. Soothe bell. That'll help your budu evolve. Also help my egg get better. Well, once it hatches, it'll help that evolve as well. Are you a tr Owner of Amity Square also owns the Pokemon Mansion. The fuck is Amity Square? You mean that park that just, like, that is, like, racist as shit against big Pokemon? <laughs> On only little cute ones allowed. Hey, the Amity Square horror. Just between you and me, I think we're on patrol too much. Just between you and me, I'm actually a cop. For this rich asshole who bought all the cops in the Sinnoh region. 
I'll have you I'll know. have you know my Pokemon sleeps on a fancy imported bed. Come on, eat the rich. So we're just harassing a bunch of uh Rich Boy Jason. Jason is fighting <laughs> Luxian. Oh. Cool. My Oh, uh, we're gonna intimidate each other. <laughs> No, he doesn't have Intimidate! What the fuck? Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon. The legendary Arcanine. Uh, so Electric's not gonna be very effective. But it'll work. Yeah. I'll have to. <laughs> do you have it? Maybe you don't get it. No, you do have it. Okay. Yeah, I'm winning. Oh, really? Yeah, that was useless. So yeah, somebody so somebody did a deep fake, right? Except, yeah. uh, oh, you have heals because he's, he's rich. Yeah, clearly. Hell. They did a deep fake of uh, what did they do? A deep fake? Of? They did a deep fake of uh, of Fight Club. Yeah. And, uh, and it was, uh, it was that scene where the, the reveal was going on. I was like, Tyler, why do people think I'm you? Yeah. And, uh, like, it was great because it, they just, at certain points, just replaced, uh, Brad Pitt's face with Edward Norton's to, like, hammer the point home. Yeah. And then there was another one where he did a, the scene with him in the office and then his boss has come in, like, having, like, carrying a paper with the rules of Fight Club on it. And then he gives a speech where he's like, well, maybe that guy will kill everyone. He then uh, fakes uh, Brad's face onto Edward Norton's body. And I felt like that's a good artistic, uh, like, use of the, of the tool. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. My poor little Bat battler is all tuckered out. I'll let it sleep it off in that bed I had imported from yeah. overseas. Oh man, what if uh, I'd like to begin now? Are you quite prepared? I guess are you if I was a rich girl Lady, lady Melissa. Lady Cool. In a uh, online Smash tournament this morning. Oh yeah, did you win? No. How would it go? Uh, I went uh, like uh, four wins, five losses. Uh, so I, I didn't get destroyed by anybody, but it well, I was not. Uh, I was qualifying for a bit, then I I, I just kind of lost interest. Uh, I realized that if I did qualify, I'd be doing the like bracket at two o'clock today, and I. I Wanted to stream. Ah, makes sense. A partial berry. Yeah. Full restore. So wait, does full restore lower a person's defense or something? No. So I feel like. Oh, indoor. Oh, it's gonna survive at one. Yep, you endured the hit. How about a tackle? I just realized I could have just used Spark on it. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Oh, I found a dubious disc. Dubious? It's just got XXX on it. It's like Peaches XXX. Peaches. <laughs> Are you talk talking about the Mushroom Kingdom like uh, princess, yeah. or are you talking about the fruit? The, the princess. <laughs> We never did find that thing in Mo when we played Mario RPG. But the peaches... The question, 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 did we? Uh... I don't think we did yet. yet. It's like behind a bookshelf in her room or something, and it was XXX in the Japanese version. Yeah, And but... through question marks in the, in the Western. <laughs> peaches... And then she gets really mad and embarrassed if you find it. Her sex toys... Game dev developers always heighten. You think that's why Nintendo doesn't want to do like people to do RPGs anymore? They don't want to ignore. They don't want Geno and Smash. 
People will remember Mario RPG. And then they'll remember Peach's XXX. And... <laughs> Just admiring the room. This is the way out to the trophy garden. It's open for all visitors to enjoy. Please, please beware, wild Pokemon may appear in this garden. Okay. You know what? I should switch Pokemon. Oh, level 22, huh? Okay. Are you your method, man? Yeah, I will level you up a little bit. Mr. Backlot is the master of this house. This is his off- So he just lets random people into his fucking mansion. He's so very proud of it. Welcome to my opulent mansion. Yeah? <laughs> There's a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home. Oh, yeah? What makes me the most proud is my trophy garden in the back! Trophy garden? You know, some people have trophy wives, this guy's a trophy garden. I guess that's better? Why I bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted by my garden? No, he just builds a, a habitat for the Pokemon to come in. They come in hopes of seeing the garden. You're, You're welcome to join them and marvel at my garden. <laughs> Guy, how egotistical are you? What the fuck? this guy, man? Masters are truly wonderful but and generous. So <laughs> Couldn't is, get that out. So is uh is but is that is Butler your first name or your last name? It's John are Butler. You John Butler. Uh, the, the housekeeping marine. Yeah. It's on his gar on his orders that the garden is open to all. <laughs> Even trainers. trainers. Can I catch stuff in your garden? You can. Oh, wow, well, at least... Please refrain from touching the statue. Is this just your do job all day? You're the the statue cop? Well, I'm gonna steal this... You, uh, you found his swagger. Yeah. Is that, is that how he was able to make all his shit come true? Glad you were able to One day I'll make my shit come true. Make my wishes and dreams come true. I'm sorry, everything beyond this point is secret and off-limits. <laughs> okay. I like, how, I like how she's like, has to specify. Secret Not just off-limits, secret and off-limits. It's like, it's like that one dude in, uh, fucking, uh, Full Metal Ninja, who's like, Bullets are expensive and hard to come by. Yeah. Like, he, like one could work. Bullets are hard to come by, consider- or, bullets are expensive. Oh, I found a great ball. Great! Good day. It's time for trainer research. Latest Pokemon trends. First piece of research we conducted. This is your Pokemon quarter. We look at Jackie's beloved Bronzor Method Man. Here we go! How, how do you know about my Method Man? I think I talked to some. Oh, okay. Method, Method Man is said to be... MYSELF! <laughs> yep. That was- there we go. Hell of a show. Yeah. My bronze or- method me- <laughs> Her bronze or- I'm glad they kept it. Yeah? You put this on- oh, here it is. Cool! No, oh, I can't. I can't equip it on eggs, actually. So it'll have to be on, on the, Badoo. Yeah. How's your hap? How can I tell how happy a Pokemon is? Oh, uh, where's the person who is able to tell that? I want to say it's in the next town you get to. Oh. Oh, so this is new since the last time we uh. We played the game. Yeah. Sir Fetched has been oh, announced. Oh yeah, the the this the night uh, far fetched. Far fetched is getting an evolution. Yeah, which you know what? Uh, it, for all the problems Sword and Shield has, I'm glad it's got that going for it. It's a it's a fighting type. Of course. <laughs> which I think, unless I'm mistaken, is the first time that a dual type Pokemon evolves into a single type 
And it's a totally different third type. It's, uh, it was normal flying, right? And now it's pure fighting. <laughs> it, had to, it had to give up its, uh, its normal ways and its flying ways and become something extraordinary. Maybe there will be, a like... A fighting type Pokemon, because we don't have enough of those. Maybe there will be a, a Galarian Farfetch'd that's, like, fighting flying. I don't know. Oh, like, like, it's, uh, leak is just covered in, like, bandages or something. Uh, in Heart Home City, there's someone who can tell. Oh, that's, I don't know where that is. That was the, the one with the Pokemon contests. Oh. Shit. Well. So, actually, it's just, that's the one ju that's just north of you. Okay, well, after I'm done here. Oh, this is the garden, huh? Hell of a garden. Lots of the grass. My opulent garden. It's full of weeds! What the fuck? Guys, this is kind of a letdown. Uh... Trophy garden. What is it? Let me try to remember how this works. There's a couple of unique things in here. I don't <laughs> think it's anything super... You can get a Pichu. You want a Pichu? Ooh. Actually, actually, yeah. Honestly. Uh, that's pretty much all that's unique here, is Pikachu and Pichu. Okay. And then special Pokemon. Buy a Pichu, never evolve it. <laughs> oh, it's, uh... Starvia. Okay, <laughs> after you beat the game. Yeah. What appears after I beat the game? You talk to Mr. Ba Backlot, and he brags about, Oh, I saw this Pokemon in my garden. Okay. And the butler's like, That Pokemon's not in the garden. But <laughs> shut up, it's not! And then it'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> shut up, it's not. <laughs> I like that. that was... uh... So that happens af after you beat the game. Dorix. Is you can get other... Mostly other baby Pokemon, or, uh, I think, like, Porygon is one that can appear I there. I still don't like that mechanic. I'd rather just have all the fucking Pokemon. What, baby like, Pokemon? Just available. Oh, the national decks. Yeah, that, that yeah. sucks. I feel like at some point, if we still want to do this, uh, thing, we should try Pokemon ROM hacks. We got so many regular games to get through, though. I mean, yeah, but also... I feel like we should, we should, maybe, if we're hankering for some Super Mario World again, do some ROM hacks. Yeah, you, you really want to do Call of Cthulhu. I, not just that, there are other ones that are, like, yeah. good. Oh yeah, you are confused. How are you gonna deal with that? You're gonna, you're gonna flash step everywhere, great. I mean, I would've evolved mine into a Starvia, but... Like, what's the point? Yeah, there, there's so many more interesting Pokemon out there. Yeah, and than all, the, the bird. Also, I'm tired of, ha of just deciding. Hey, I'm gonna use my flying Pokemon. That's so. For a certain point, it gets to be too much, you know. Yeah, you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah. Too many rats. Too many birds. Senior and junior. But, which which is, that like, is that like how Dipper and me, like, they always are like, hey, I'm the Alpha Twin. Yeah. Is that their relationship? I saw a, uh, I saw like a mashup on, uh, on YouTube of someone, uh, someone animated the Gravity Falls intro, but as like a Crash Bandicoot cartoon intro. Oh, really? And like mixed it with the Crash theme, it was, it was really well made. I'll have to check it out. They, they did. They did others. It was like a compilation. One of them was Shaggy Ball Z, that was also really well made. Who knew? Uh, art, art when well made is better. Is good if the if the concept, even if the concept is a bit silly. Like I have, I was of the opinion that that a concept isn't inherently bad. Like I, have I told, have I talked to you about? Uh, about After Earth. Titan AE? No, 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 not Titan AE. That's a, that's a good, that's a good movie. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm talking about Af After Earth. That's that Will Smith, Jaden Smith movie. Yeah. Uh, 
Did they... I vaguely remember <laughs> something like that. So, uh, uh After Earth is, uh, is a... It is about, like, this kid, right? He really wants to be a ranger. Yeah. But unfortunately, he's not, like, any good at it. And, uh... And so, so they, so he washes out of like the academy. Guy, your garden is just full of birds. So he washes out of the academy, and his his mother, the like, and Will Smith saw like, kind of neutral about it. He just uh, kind of pissed off that his son seems to be taking it really bad. So then he, uh, so his uh, his wife was just like, hey, maybe you should go and like take your son on your business trip, and so. He gets on a ship with his other ranger buddies to, like, take a beast over to, like, a ranger, like, campground, and they crash on a planet, in which Will Smith says, everything on this planet has been has evolved to kill humans. Yeah. You know where we are? Earth. We're on Earth. Yeah. And, turns out, humans haven't been living there for, like, a century? Oh, that's uh, <laughs> clearly enough time for evolution. Yeah, well, no, no, no. The, the Everything on this planet has evolved... To kill humans. Yeah. A species which hasn't shown up on the planet in a hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> so, I thought about it, right? And I'm like... And... And I'm like, you know what would have been better? Yeah. If, rather, get rid of the whole ranger stuff, like, get rid of the whole, hey, we used these, these aliens, uh, like, attacked us by, uh, by sending these creatures that can smell our fear and the rangers were developed in order to like suppress their fear. We call it ghosting. By the way, that's a thing. It, it doesn't matter. I did, that's why I didn't mention it until now. Yeah. And you just make it about like a space trucker, right? Will Smith is like a space trucker and he's with his like space trucker friends. They're just like cargo haulers. And he and his wife, they're not they're not doing so good. And he's like, hey, I'll take this kid with me on a, on a trucking trip. You just have Will Smith be his natural, funny self, because, by the way, in, uh, After Earth, he's up for comedy, or- Oh, hey! I can just catch an evolved version here. Is Will Smith known for comedy? Uh, Men in Black, uh... Kinda does Fresh both. Prince of Bel-Air was his big breakout hit. He, he does- he does both. He does- he I can't do serious I, roles, but I, I like him. comes to mind. Oh, yeah. Irobot, he was. He still had some. He still had some comedic moments in Irobot, though. Yeah. Like he does not joke at all in uh, After Earth, except for the very last uh, scene in which, uh, after they're rescued, him and his son are basically, I can't wait to work with mom, and then he's just going, I, I can't wait either. <laughs> but yeah, the rest of the time he's, he's just he's, stoic. Nope, nothing. And he's so tired of people confusing him with Eddie Murphy. I I've literally never done that. Yeah. He's he's worried about nothing. Well, or maybe he, or maybe he. Should. I doubt that's true. <laughs> but yeah, he's just on a bad day. I might get the two confused. He's so much better as like a comedian though. He's got he's a naturally a goofy guy. Like if you see him in interviews, that's just how he is. He's a naturally goofy, like funny dude. Yeah. It's like it's like if I tried to be like just a stoic, serious dude all the time, it won't work because I'm naturally this like boisterous like. Uh, like, uh, Dreamer. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna give it a few more attempts, and if I still don't see a peach, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. Well, you're not gonna use it. You already have your electric Pokemon anyway, right? Well, maybe I'll have another one. Besides, I'll give, I'll give my Bunnery someone to play with. I like how by proxy of, uh, this being a doubles battle with beat-up, Moltres gets to attack twice. <laughs> like, uh, it does its attack, and then Wusha Dillo is just like, Hey, Moltres, get him! I wonder if d competitive doubles is a thing, because that that could be, like, an interesting tactic. It is. There are, uh, there's uh, doubles Pokemon tournaments. Actually, I think a lot of, like, significant Nintendo Pokemon tournaments are in doubles format. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I don't think this is happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna take off from this fucking mansion. But yeah, I was just like thinking, you know what? The space truck crashes. It's carrying some. Uh, it doesn't need to be carrying any deadly cargo. The planet's deadly enough. It's being stalked, by, and it's just them getting stalked by the creatures as they're trying to like. 
Heinz for Magnetic Rose, but he took his daughter with him. It was Bring Your Kid to Work Day. Yes! That, that's... Well... Poor Heinz. Uh, poor Heinz. I, I, he did get out of that, but, I think. I mean, but at what cost, Yeah. right? So is there anything else nor more north of here, or is uh, it just the fucking garden? No, north is the previous town you were in. No, 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 no it's I mean, just, like, just the garden. Okay. Fucking trophy garden. What a what a ripoff. So you can uh, further south goes to another town. Otherwise, you're you're in the like uh, in Gen One. There was the loop that went to Fuchsia City. Fuchsia oh. and Celadon. Oh yeah. Is that so? There are two two towns you're uh, able to access on this big long roundabout path. All right, what's down here? Is there anything new? Oh my god. See, they, they evolved at level 16. Why can't my fucking... Well, it's got the Sooth Bell now. Maybe it just needs to level again. Is that how that works? It, well, it even with friend with max happiness, it only evolves on level up. Oh. Uh, well, I hope that uh, doesn't work against steel. It's weak to steel. I have Psychic, though. So. Yeah. I haven't been in the grass at all. I'm afraid to, like, commit time to catching Pokemon at this point, because I do it for, for if I see a Legendary in the wild and it's so time-consuming. Oh, yeah. Because their catch rate is so low. Yeah. yeah uh, the randomizer doesn't fix that. Again, all the Pokemon breeders are gods. <laughs> I'm challenged by God Christine oh, and her legendary that she just walks around with. This is like if everybody was like hacking to get the best Pokemon to like a Pokemon in the road. This is what this randomizer is. They're doing a uh, final like Nintendo online tournament for uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Yeah. And apparently everything is legal. Ooh. Like, there are no banned Pokemon. Just all the Ubers, all the legendaries, everything. Oh, cool. X. Maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe a Pikachu will win. Yeah. <laughs> Trainer tips? No. <laughs> Dives in the bag can be... Yep, I knew that. Alright, well, if, the, if uh, my Bodoo needs to be leveled to... to uh... It's a neat detail how there's the uh, there's the underground in this region, and they have these little vents scattered all over the place to, like, uh, complement that fact. Yeah. You're even worse than the other birds I was running into. Oh, it's fine, it's just a starling. Worry seed, sun spore, grass nut. Grass nut's not gonna be useful. Oh, I'm faster than the Starly. That's interesting. Oh, flying super effective against grass. Uh-oh. Oh, you're just gonna flash stuff, okay. Oh god, Tux is nowhere near close to being at naval level. How about this swap out? Fight something that's not a Starly. Flying versus... Shit. And a wave. Electric. What? Electric. Oh, yeah. I would, it would be cool if uh, EXP was influenced by, like, your type coverage. Like, you get, if you fight a Pokemon who has an advantage against you, you get more XP. Oh, yeah. That, that's, like, resistance training. Or, like, it, like, improves the quality of your level up. I guess that would kind of punish you for, uh, like, using type advantages, though. Because then the... you, get, you get less for a uh, type you're super effective against. Because it goes quicker? Yeah. And they, they don't like to do that because they want to reward kids for, uh... Hey, you figured out rock, paper, scissors. Lazy Landon! <laughs> Lazy Landon. Is that like an ironic name? Because she looks very busy. <laughs> she missed uh, her a task once and then she got, uh, called Lazy for it. And the nickname stuck because she found it funny. I can't fucking hit her. I want to see a pro wrestling Snorlax. 
uh, someone who's the size of Andre the Giant and just kind of lazes about not taking his opponent seriously. Uh, there's one lie who's like that, but he's not uh, Andre the Giant size. He's like normal sized. Yeah. That'd be Orange Cassidy. Hey, cool. I got a hit off. I fucking love Orange Cassidy. Just. I take losses with an unusually big smile. Oh, that lazy Landon. <laughs> By the way, I just realized I should have ran from that fight. That was not worth it at all. No, not for a Starly. Oh, now it's raining. Oh no, the bit rate! <sighs> sure. We'll go with this. Are you a trainer? Do you use water Pokemon? That's a pair of trainers. P please tell me you use water Pokemon. Our job is to protect the natural environment of this region! Oh, cool. That means you have Go also... Team Planet! <laughs> got, got to pimp out that uh, that Pokemon Ranger property. Earth! What? Earth! Happy fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire Day. What? Happy Earth, Wind, and Fire Day. Oh, uh, so... Uh, I thought you were saying happy, uh, fucking, uh... No, that was trending on Twitch. I don't, don't know what it's about. It was trending on Twitch was Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. Maybe it's like the band's anniversary or something. Or, or maybe it's talking about the dude's mate, the kind of sort of stand. The what? alien dude from, uh... Is there or... a Earth, Wind, and Fire stand? Yeah, that was the... That was, uh... Does water make a uh, plant type move stronger? No. Damn. Baton pass. Nope. Fucking off now. That's, uh... That, that's an illegal move. Competitive. Like, cause it's, uh... Oh, you switched to a Water-type Pokemon! Okay. You, can, you can just, like, pump up one of your Pokemon and then transfer all of the, the power-ups to another Pokemon. Uh, and it can be used in game-breaking ways. Well, I have... Uh, I guess they were like, eh? They weren't thinking about it. They didn't... They don't have the fucking magic R&D labs making sure everything is, like, you know, above board. So, uh, the Farfetch'd, by the way, is, uh, s sorry, Surfetch'd yeah. is Sword exclusive. Which, which we, we've got Sword on order, so yeah, that, that would be an R version. So we get that. I don't think... The, it I, makes me wonder, though, what the counterpart for Shield will be. Like, is there gonna uh, be another old, maybe useless Pokémon getting a new evolution for Shield? Dunsparce. I'm really hoping for a Shield Dunsparce. That would be great. Yeah, or... What else was the Lick Tumbling? What? Lick tongue ling the the lick tongue lick a tongue lick a tongue. Sorry, that, that, is... that has an evolution now actually. Oh, it does in okay. uh, this gen. Oh, okay. a really fucking dumb one. I, I imagine it was a really dumb fucking Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, okay. very unlikely, but ditto. Ditto. Wait, evolved into what? Oh, Mew Mewtwo. <laughs> Obviously. I don't want to switch, no. Yeah, there's nowhere to pass the baton to, you dumb monkey. What would a, smir a Smeargle evolution be like? Uh, it's like, it's like a, a Smeargle, but with robes, and it's got an even bigger mustache. To, yeah. And it paints but, stuff, and the stuff that paints comes to life. Da Vinci Smeargle. Da Vinci. No, it's, a <laughs> Smeargle. You da can, Vinci. by the way, you can, uh, you can catch Smeargle on this route that you're on. After you beat the game. Ah! I just want to catch the Pokemon I want to catch. Why you gotta? Why you? Why you like gotta? How dare we have a huge variety available like all the time? That's too many Pokemon. Kids will be overwhelmed. Oh my god. I don't like like of all the things they introduced in, in like Pokemon. I don't think I like this. Uh... I don't think it's really as bad after this game. Like there are some. Pokemon that are still Gen 5, I think there's still some Pokemon locked after the Elite Four, but not a huge amount. It's never as many as this game again. I'm sure somebody fucking complained about it, and then they're like, oh, wait. People like to have a variety to choose from. Wait, what? Oh, shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Fury Swipe to death. Oh, come on, please. Okay, good. Alright, you're poison, huh? Don't, okay. don't let him faint. That'd be bad. Yeah. 
You know what? Fine. Here's what I'll do. Uh... Sun Tank, Lord Slug. Here. Slug, go! Dancer Wellington. <laughs> that sounds like a gimmick, like a wrestling gimmick. That sounds yeah. like something DDT would run. <laughs> Monkey's normal type, right? Yes. Okay. Not, uh, not related to anything necessarily, but, uh, we just finished the arc of Kenshin. Oh, yeah, the... With, I think it's, yeah, filler arc. Yeah, filler. In which, in which Light Yagami takes advantage of Nathan Explosion to try to get that darn samurai. Yeah, like, one dude is totally... The two look characters look so similar to those two. Yeah, which is weird, considering they came out, like, a long time after that. You're just looking at them like, holy shit. He acted similarly to, like, a Meiji-era Light Yagami, too. Yeah, the, the Light Yagami-looking one. Bor the born prodigy... Except... Went to study abroad. Except he was talked down. He was. He was talked... He even had a fucking gun. He had a revolver. Like, a, we, Did Light ever have a gun? I... I don't think he used... I don't think... This, this modern day Japan, they were really strict with their weapon laws. Yeah. He was able to get a gun. Maybe in the American version of Death Note. Yeah. In the American version of Death Note, Light's packing heat. Because it's the American yeah. version. Who is it? Well, like, it'd be more unrealistic if we didn't own a gun, honestly. Hello, Cascadia. You think, uh... You think Area 51? Well, that, that whole... That whole thing was all part of an agenda to get all the AR-15s in one place at one time. That's what was really going on. Uh, that that turned into a music festival. Yeah, they, they, they turned into an improv... Because not enough people showed up. They looked at how, it, how many people were there, and they were like, we're all gonna die, and we're gonna accomplish nothing if we if we go. Everybody agreed, and they're just, they're just like, well, fuck it, let's just play some music. It, it was it was in inevitable. Someone was going to take advantage of the thing to turn it into, into an event. Well, I mean, I don't think if people were serious, because there was like a million like Facebook followers for that group, right? And like, I, I don't know, I think it was an incredibly low number showed up. I don't have the exact number. Yeah. Well, it definitely was not going to be several million. It was a few hundred, though. Yeah, it was a few hundred, and, and they, realizing, they, they're just like, fuck it, we're here, let's just, let's just hang out and just have a good time. The real, the real Area 51 raid was the friends we made along the way. Yeah. Oh, Cascadia made Twitch affiliate. Congratulations. Congrats. That took us a very long time. Does, uh, if, you know, if Mixer doesn't allow, like, the creation of artwork, then... I'm sure they do. Pokemon Ranger Jeffrey. They're fighting me with a... <laughs> Penguin! Well, it's Rampardos. Uh-oh. Shit, if I don't kill him in like two turns, I'm fucked. And... Time to swap. Oh, fuck. Yeah, um... You, I guess you could poison it. I have Sun Spore, but I don't have poison power. Oh, yeah. Because I don't usually... No, it's fine. I'll, I'll switch to, uh... I'll switch to Method Man. I'll tank the blow really nice, and then... No, it's, uh... And I'll it's not stat-based, it's HP-based. Oh, is it? So it'll take twice the HP that you just dealt to Crimp Club when oh. he attacks back. Just, it, no, def it goes through defense? Yeah, just the number. Oh, damn. That's... That makes it more useful, then. Okay. Oh, fuck. If I... But if I switch back, then... Uh, How much is his HP? You can do... Sun Wu-Tang is full HP, and a lot of it. <sighs> or you could just probably hope with Method Man. 31. I probably would have had better luck. Him. You don't have I don't have... I don't have any. I don't... Maybe, oh, I have X to... No, that won't work. That won't help. <laughs> it won't help. Fine. How about this, then? Oh, wait, what? You went and dead? Yeah. Tank <laughs> just you know falls to the ground.
You you know what then? Hmm. If I can kill him, I can kill him in two turns if he tries to bite again. You think so? Wow. How much does now nah, grass knot wouldn't be better against that? How heavy is uh? Not club? not mega drain would be better than okay. grass knot. I'm pretty sure. All right, I'm gonna try this. Uh -oh. oh what? Oh, that's a flying type move. Shit. At least I got that off. Yeah, you can't move, buddy. Oh, I still got Mega Drain, though. And I'll be able to move first every turn, so I can, uh, I can heal myself. I think... So, police only fight you at night. Yeah. I want to say joggers only fight you in the morning. Okay. There's some odd trainer classes like that. Okay, thanks for stopping by. See you later, Cascadia. Later. Congrats on Twitch Affiliate. Okay, Mega Drain. Alright, another TM. What do I get? Chatter. Bah. Yep. 60 power. Alright, I am fully- I'm almost fully healed. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> you know what? At least I'll get the EXP uh, for hit for Tux. And uh, maybe maybe he'll level up next time. <laughs> Tux, be happy! Rain continues to fall. Oh, another one. Okay, you know what? I don't think I'm... I, I, I don't know if I'm feeling lucky enough for a second. Uh, or for what? What? Let's go. Does a uh, rain power up electric moves? No. Fuck. Only water. That's... and just It does make thunder... Like, guaranteed accurate. That's the only relation it has to electric. I don't have thunder, though. Nope. Okay, kill this guy in two turns. Let's try it. Oh, he's a bug catcher. Oh, he's biting. I'm gonna have to commit. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I you totally got him. Fucking, uh, yeah, I, I totally can kill him. If I don't miss, that is. Maybe I should hit with a higher accuracy move. Nah, uh, I'll have to go for it. Yep. Yep. All right, cool. You leveled up. Awesome. Once again. Wants to learn the move Roar! Well, do? you can swap out opponents with it. Oh, I can? Get rid of charge. <laughs> yeah. No, fuck you! I want this other dude! I, they're eh, of comparable use. They're both pretty niche. Also, if uh, I, I could just end a battle really quickly. Charge raises your uh, special defense and makes your next electric move more powerful. Oh, it does? Yeah. Honestly, I don't... If I'm going to be wasting... I never got the... the... You never used charge, so... Yeah. It's not going to be missed. Yeah, I'm not going to... Yeah, accuracy 100, so... I like that it's, uh, that it has use in, like, battles now, because it didn't used to. What, Roar? Yeah. Like, in Gen 1, it just didn't work on, like, trainer Pokemon. Yeah. And then Gen 2, it's, I think, is when it started swapping out yeah. party members. Alright. Is my Budu gonna evolve now? No! 
Not happy enough? It's not happy enough! I should've just captured a fu- I should've just caught a fucking ro- Maybe it's almost there. Well, let's find out. I'm gonna head north. Do you have a- you don't have like a teleporter on your team. No, I don't. What? Oh, hey! Hello, whooper. Whooper. That's a water type, right? Water ground. Water ground. I already got a water type, though. So, uh, Tux will destroy it if it hits. Fuck it. I'll heal it. I think it's water ground. Maybe it gets a ground type upon evolving. Well... I need the healing, anyway. There we go. Mmm, your energy. Give me your energy. How much longer? Jesus Christ. How much further? Oh, whatever. How much further? It's fine the because. Uh, route? Oh, bird. Burb. A clave of burbs. Leaving. Do you have to cut? Do I? These are. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I don't not. Think anybody knows. I don't have the. the... Oh, you had your. Uh, your Baidooth was your cutter, right? Yeah, but I got an egg, so... I'm just like, I'll wait. <clears throat> Florentino. It's a good martial arts name. Florentine. So, I think the person is in the... The Pokemon Fan Club. Oh. Which is... No, not here. That guy makes Poffins. This one? I think it's got a sign out front. That's the gym. It's another house. It's got a red roof. Okay. Well! Looking at the sprite. There's no consequence. If I get it wrong, so... Egg. <laughs> Eggy. So where are the fucking sodas? Oh. I, I don't know what the most, like, cost-effective healing method in this game is. Or, uh, item, rather. Dark red. That's not it. Okay. Down there. To the left. Up. That's it. That's it. This looks right. Oh. I have to come over here. Lady! Nationwide. There are other fan clubs, but we are number one. I brag more than anyone! Now I can't brag as much. People started complaining, so I've had to curtail my bragging. Oh, so you don't see how... okay. Isn't that every Pokemon fan club is just an old guy bragging about how awesome his Pokemon are? Yeah. Welcome to the Pokemon fan club. Oh, you're Tux. It's very friendly. But how friendly? And I can tell you treat it kindly. It's very friendly to you. You need to level up. That means it is between 200 and 254. Okay. Value. All right. Which means... Uh... Evolution. 220 or higher. 
So it needs to be 220 or higher, and right now it is over 200. We know that. So, okay. It might be high enough, it might need another level or two. Okay. Well, what's, uh, is there a higher, like, uh, amount than 254? Uh, 255 is the very highest. And what did she say at that? Raiders. Evaluation. It simply adores you. Why, okay. I feel like I'm intruding. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until she says that to guarantee it, and then I'm gonna level him up again. Just gonna run around. I got the soothe bell on it. Hey, how's my how's the hours? Still gonna take a very long, like an unreasonably long time that way. Oh my god. Okay, well maybe I'll feed it its favorite food. That's it. I think if you just like level up once or twice more, it'll be good. As long as it doesn't die. Also, just running around with it does that, so, uh, you know, just going to the next area will help towards that goal. Yeah. So, I, it's well, almost I can't there. come soon enough. Hey, it's Dunsparce! Hey, Dunsparce! Can't wait to see your evolution in S.H.I.E.L.D., bro. There's, like, uh, there's, a, a, like, a big-ass dragon Pokemon in Sun Moon that has the... A similar face and color scheme to Dunsparce, yeah, but is not related to Dunsparce in any way. But People were so disappointed when they found out it wasn't a Dunsparce evolution. But why not? Maybe maybe a Pokemon scientist fucked up. Yeah. Maybe it's just one of those things that just happens. Why can't I fly yet? I want to fly. Where do you get to fly? Uh... See, this is like a trophy garden. What the fuck? Yeah. It's in one of the one of these two towns in this circle. I want to be able to fly wherever the fuck I need to go. Oh, uh, what? Marcellus. Uh, Marcellus Wallace. Does she look like a bitch to you? No. Yeah, uh, Wigglytuff kind of looks like a bitch. This version of Wigglytuff does not know sing. It knows sleep powder. <laughs> it can a, a sand. So so it's just it just slips uh, like tranquilizer into their cocaine and then throws it in their face. What a Sandman Pokemon, like a humanoid, like Mr. Mime. Oh, which is, but it's just really like sand and sleep techniques. Like, we got Drowsy, which is based off the Japanese like, sleep creature. Alright, so confusion will hit, and sometimes it won't attack, but it's also paralyzed, so sometimes it won't attack. Is this a trainer or a wild? This is wild. I don't know why I'm fighting it. I just happen to slip in here and I'm just like, fuck it. You're confused. Oh, you got it off. And this is where I bid you a good day. Slime God wants to learn rollout. Oh, how, how's that gonna be? It's just gonna roll into a ball and just... Broken! Got it! <laughs> 
What? Oh, what's it? Fucking broken! One, 150... 100% accuracy. 115 the first turn of rollout. <sighs> Doubles every turn. Yeah. No, you... you that's, uh, that's a good move, cool. that rollout. You're, I'm, 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 you're, I'm, gonna, you're gonna catch up to me. I, so now, not only does he have Wonder Guard, he has a broken move as well. Wonder... <laughs> Wonder Guard rollout. Muck. Shit. That, that's He like... just evolved to my best Pokemon. G good job. That's a very... Keep it... Great moves. Keep it up. I'm oh, proud I'm of stuck you. In, I'm stuck in Outrage right now, though. Oh. <laughs> 115 power rollout. Doubles every turn. Oh, man. If oh. you find a rollout TM, you should totally teach it to, like, uh... Something that could stab it. Yeah. Because that, he, that he can stab it. He's rock type. Oh, is so he? So it's 115 times 1.5. It's uh. It's 100, 175 accuracy. base damage on turn one. Oh, you should name him. You should rename him Juggernaut. Yeah. Once he starts going, you don't stop Juggernaut. <laughs> oh, where's the name Raider? He's in a turn I think. Yeah, give him to the name raider. I get I rename him to the juggernaut. Yeah, he's definitely a juggernaut. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut, bitch. That scene in which, like, uh, the guy is like, so here's this guy. Once he starts uh, moving, he doesn't stop. Nothing can stop him. Yeah. And and it's a very weirdly specific mutant power. Any momentum will be able to like. Apparently, there was like a. Uh, like, I think there was lore in which it was like, it turned out that Juggernaut was like Xavier's brother. Yeah, that was true. <laughs> yeah. Not in the movies, though. No? There, he was just some dude that they, because they were like trying to recruit like uh, people to join the Brotherhood. And like, Mystique was like, uh, like looking at two people was like, oh yeah, this guy robbed several banks. And he turns, and he uh, multiplies like, like six times and she goes at the same time yeah nobody stops billy numerous <laughs> i'm billy numerous yeah he's marvel billy numerous that was the whole that was the reason he wears his uh like that costume with the red metal helmet it keeps his brother out of his head yeah because he knows that his brother is like a psychic he's Apparently there was like some stuff muddling whether or not he was like a, a pure mutant or not. Something about like a mystical orb or some shit. Oh, okay. What are you? I find it reassuring to be on this damp soil. Who are you, Hex Maniac? Are you are you the Hex Maniac? It, He's no, a you're, scientist. Oh, you're a scientist. Stefano. Oh, you're uh, you're that dude from Godzilla. You're just like what the? That is a psychic. It is a psychic. Psychic is super effective against grass. Against poison. Shit. Uh. What do I got that's effect? I got. Oh, I got a. I got a le electric with dark. I'm gonna use that. It also yeah. can't do anything to Method Man defensively, but that'd be kind of a slog. Yeah, because it'd be psychic on psychic. And I don't know any steel moves. Yeah, Intimidate cuts your foe's attack. Do you think psychic sex is just like two people together? Just like thinking back and Wait, forth? Wait, did, did, did that, did that Abra use a fucking fighting type move? Did it? Use a, I've got a punch! If it survives this, I'm gonna go to into attacking again. Kinesis. 
I think psychic sex is just like two people thinking back and forth, and then one of them orgasms. Uh, or I guess both of them, ideally. That's, that, uh, oh, have you seen Demolition Man? Because they did something kind of like that. Yeah. There's like, apparently, like, actual sexual contact is like, uh, considered like, uh, tab, like, taboo. You gotta do it through sheets. No, no, no. You do it through, like, you have sex by using a machine, like, a machine. You do both put on a helmet, right? Yeah. And it's like having sex, except it's in your mind. That makes it Gives you all this pleasurable, like, feelings of sex, but without, like, the actual contact, and, uh, and Sylvester Stallone was like, man, this shit's weird. Yeah. Oh, speaking of deepfakes, somebody, there's a scene in, like, Last Action Hero, right? We get, that was a movie in which, uh, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger is, like, a character in real life, and is also, like, the guy playing a character in, a, in like, a, a movie, and yeah. the guy kid goes into, like, here we go. Hey! Finally. I knew you could do it. So then he starts. He also plays a uh, fucking. Yeah. It, it, so this kid like uh, fa falls in this movie, right? And he's like helping the main character in the movie. He's like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he's like trying to convince him it's actually a movie. Yeah. So then he's like, "Oh, let's go to the video store. I'll show you." And it goes right. And it's an ad for a Terminator 2, but it's starring Sylvester Stallone instead. Oh. So then they just deep faked uh, Sylvester Stallone, uh, in uh, in Terminator 2, and it actually looks pretty good. Like the te again, the technology is good, is like really good, but it's also like really abusable. I feel like if some if somebody is like trying to make a deep fake video and uh, hey hey guy, bye barrel, you are gonna. You are stronger now, Tux. Like, what was I saying? Uh, if somebody were to actually use the technology to like try to slander somebody, they 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 that should be a crime. Like yeah. that guy, like like it should literally be like fraud or some shit. Yeah. Because that's what it is, right? It's libel. It's like. What, using what technology? Using deep fake technology to fake somebody doing something illegal or something. Yeah. Like, the text should be, uh... Like, the text should be... It, it, I, the text should be outlawed, but if somebody does that, they should be, like, put in jail for it. Yeah. To, like... If it's not saying, hey, this is a deep fake of this person... I think there's gonna be a point where people just come to understand not to ever trust. We're already almost at the point not to trust images because yeah. they're so easily doctored. Yeah. Well, at that point, what do you trust? Video. Well, that's what deepfake does. It's video. Oh. D it's deepfake. Deepfake puts another person's face over. I thought it was images. No, that's Photoshop. Like, we can't trust video anymore because of the deepfake. Oh. So what do we trust? Nothing. Yeah. Don't trust anybody. Or, and this is another thing you could do, either you trust, but always verify. Yeah. So we just went in the two opposite directions. I'm, I'm going uh, clockwise in the circle. You're going counterclockwise. Sure. I'm proud of my Pokemon. I'll show you. I'll show you why. Collector Dominique. What do you collect? That sounds like a very feminine name. Dominique. Like, I hear Dominic for men, and I, I was just... I, Dominique. I, I hear for women, I think. Dom. Dom Cobb. Oh fuck, what did I just get? Some say the top is still spinning to this day. I got Curse, which is still a question type. Yeah. What is it? It's so it stabs with nothing. It like what's the point? Like why why does why is Curse like that? Is it supposed to be like creepy? I guess. You know what would be cool? 
Pokemon. You do a you do a Pokemon like a tabletop RPG, right? But you but rather than have it be like a trainer type thing with like each Pokemon knows only four moves. You just like run it in like D and D or GURPS or some shit, and it just stat out the Pokemon. Yeah. And just, I'm sure there's a Pokemon tabletop set someone has invented. What, what am I battling? I guess it doesn't matter. Another Geo dude. Okay. Is that what you collect? You collect Geo dudes. Well, cool. Toxic orb. What does it do? It is it improve its, like, poison moves? Uh, it poisons the holder. But... Why? It has some kind of use for competitive in some ways. Like, there's a move called Fling that throws the item you're ho holding at the opponent. Oh. Or there's some moves that swap you and your opponent's items. Ah. Uh, so you just use a free poison on it. And you steal another person's one. Is item al is our items allowed to competitive play? No. Yeah. 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 They're huh. like a major part of it. Oh, so you just heal your own Pokemon? Okay. So wait, is there a limit to how many items you can have, or is it 99 of everything? No, you can't like y not use items. Hold oh. items are okay. Not use items. No. So you have to be a Pokemon that like is powered up by poison. Yeah, and there are some that. Uh... I don't, know, I don't know if there are any that benefit themselves from holding the, the Toxic Orb. It's mostly just for, like, uh, swapping it with the opponent or something, I think. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so it's just... That's why, that's uh, why, like, Rosewater is always saying, like, we don't, we, like, why do you guys print, like, useless cards and they're like, we don't... They're not always useless, they're- wait, well here we go. Grass Whistle! What does that do? Uh, it's sleep. Oh, cool, I can use that. So it's like sing. Well, except... Yeah, let's, uh, let's see, what's the accuracy on this? Probably better than Stun Spore. I think it's low. Yeah, it's the same as sing. You can replace Worry Seed. Uh, well... This could be useful for... I think having a sleep move is more useful. Alright. Fair enough. Let's do it. Man, Tux has just gotten old. I wonder if King's Rock works with beat up. The flinch item. Oh, like, you just like multiple attempts at flinching? Yeah. Oh, God. egg got to go. It's not even close. Oh, it may be close to hatching. Oh, maybe. So, so close. Oh, no. Alright. What's up? I saw people riding their bikes and using a log just like a bridge. Wouldn't it be much safer to carefully walk across? Oh, what are you talking about? No, bike, bikes are narrow, so they're the best for crossing narrow bridges. What did I get? Silverwind? That's the steel move, right? Bug move. Oh, what does that do? Uh, 60 power, I think. Special, and uh, has a small chance of raising all of your stats. Oh, well. That was a decent bug type attack. I don't have any bugs, though. Yeah. Also, I keep forgetting what bug is strong against. Psychic, uh, grass. Oh, so that's my dark. Ah. Water Pokemon sure get happy when it rains. I am too. Cool. Good job. Uh, what do we got? I've been challenged by a, a zombie fisherman. Oh, great. Yeah, this is a fair team of Pokemon to fight. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> uh. Where can I get these guys? If I can get a Regigigas without its, uh, without its hindering ability, oh, uh, it's gonna be broken. If I can find that or a Slay King. 
Oh, wow. Well. Because those are super high stat total Pokemon. Hey, what if next time you do we do a randomizer? If we do, if there is a randomizer for the next gen, there is. Hey, what if I choose the settings and you don't know what I've chosen? You gotta be good. It <laughs> and in exchange, you get to choose my starter for the next generation. Yeah. You get to, uh, like there's three of them, right? There's a, which one are the starters for the next generation? Uh, next gen is Tepig, the fire fighting pig. Okay. There's a. Uh, Watch it, Snivy, the little grass snake. Okay. And, uh, I want to say Oshawott, Water Otter. Water Otter. I'd be fine with, it, with any of those three. Just, uh, you can pick whichever. <laughs> and then, and then I just, uh, and I choose your randomization settings, and I will make sure. Well, I, I, mean, I don't think you would choose them too differently than what I would pick anyway, so right. whatever. Fine. Never mind. I, I wouldn't really care. So what the fuck are these things? They look uh, water ground? So you're definitely outclassed them. Yeah, I'm just... Everyone's got water ground types against Tux. Yeah. Lionel! Oh, hey! Lord Slug's brother. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Mewtwo and Regigigas are, like, trouncing my team. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> the ultimate... It's like if uh, Cell and Frieza t teamed up and took the whole or ordeal seriously. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Oh, uh, what if instead of, uh... Yeah? What if <laughs> instead of, uh, <laughs> of Frieza they got Cell <laughs> to, 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 for the I'd, Super I'd be down. <laughs> Cell would be more in character to, like, do something like that, because he just wants strong people to fight. Yeah. I saw a, 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 obviously, a clickbait article. How could Cell return to Dragon Ball Super? And my first thought is just, does, does he need to? Like, I, yes. I like him, but... Like, his arc is over, honestly. Yeah. <clears throat> like, Frieza coming back was... I, I wish... I wish Fatbu was, uh... In the tournament. Yeah. I'm disappointed he's not. What do you... What do you wouldn't have even have been Fatbu. It would have been Handsome Boo. It would have been great. I would have... I would have liked that. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm sad they didn't. They decided they they were gonna go get Frieza instead. Maybe maybe uh, he figured he would be too broken. What? Because Boo is like pretty uh, pretty powerful. Would yeah, have been a great boon for the team. Brandon. I wish some fishing loving lady'd come along. No, it's just trainers. Hey, maybe I like fish. <laughs> Nah, I actually don't, mister. I'm sorry. Challenged by another zombie all fisherman. Oh! A Goldeen. Oh, I wonder how this fight's gonna go. Pokemon never really addresses how uh, water Pokemon fight on land. Maybe it probably comes up in the anime more often. Yeah, in the first, uh, like, in the second episode, Misty grabs a random Pokeball, throws it into Goldeen, and it's splashing on the ground, and she's like, well, shit. Oh, well, uh, I need to kill this thing or I'm fucked. Please? Okay, good. I will, I will crawl into the next town with my one HP Moltres and nothing else. <laughs> All of my others were taken out. The manager is one of the pretty sick. You won and I, I lost. We both gained something from this. What did we gain? Fuck both of you. And your fucking Mewtwo and Regigigas. <laughs> that was... 
<laughs> that was a surprising, like, encounter. Just, man, I wish my uh, my Pokedex worked so I could found out, find out where those things in the wild were. Maybe, maybe I'll heal up and come back and check these routes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's he's dead. Goodbye. Just wiped. All of them dead. D O A. I really need to just go to the next town. I'm running out of ammo for my. Uh... You've got a swamp to go through, but I don't think they're really. Oh, no, I, I, containers I... in the swamp. There are I think you can just avoid all the trainers and get to the other side. I don't want to do this with you. Challenged by pers the parasol lady. Oh, did I win? Are you, am I really fight? It's just a bunch of water Pokemon. <laughs> Great for Tux. Yeah, but I'm running out of uh, like. I get drain. I have grass knot, but that's not going to be much more effective. Maybe. Oh, it's a dark frog. Dark Frogger. <laughs> Dark Frog? Oh, it's a deep one. Watched an episode of Cyborg 009 today with Robo Shoggoth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please, no! We, we, we can fight Black Ghost together! We don't need to be enemies! Bang. Every time. 24. Wow! So it's got two moves that uh, deal more damage if they've taken a hit that turn. <laughs> eh. Nothing amazing, Mr. Oh. Frog. <laughs> Didn't they make a recent, like, 3D Misadventures of Mr. Toad or something? I mean, recent, within the past ten years. Uh, the, the Adventures of Mr. Not oh, the yeah. An, not the animated one, like a... A, a, a live-action one, yes. I know. I, they, I they vaguely did. remember that. What, you mean The Wind in the Willows? Is that what you're talking about? Well, that was... what? That was the original book. Yeah. No, they made a Wind in the Willows movie. I know this because somebody mashed uh, up the trailer for it with that of The Departed. Yeah. That, uh... Movie but, with which, the, the shipping up to Boston being the the trailer theme and also incidentally a song they kept playing. Fucking Disney right. and their live action everything. It was great because uh, <laughs> they just combined the footage of like the two of like the two movies and it's just and it's funny because was it better or worse than the uh... there was a, a character called uh, who's like a rat and. Uh, and the many characters in The Departed were calling, were trying to find, like, the rat in their organization, so you just have people go, like, gotta find this fucking rat, cunt! Yeah. And the rat in the the Will's like, I say... Was it better or worse than the, uh, Chernobyl with, with, fall, with... It was good for, at the time, like, uh, I don't know, I, I forget, I have to watch it again, though, I haven't watched that in years. The the the, tra the mashup trailer, Chernobyl with half with Half Life. Yeah, that was that's that's fun though. There's guys, scientists walking around. Things are starting to go wrong. Going, that's odd. This is all happening because of you scientists. A fat guy just gave me something sticky. Oh. Oh, it's one of those manga, huh? Oh. A lot of negative items introduced in this game. The sticky barb, like, uh, inflicts damage on you every turn. But why? I think, like, if the Pokemon attacks you physically, it gets- it attaches to them, though? Oh. Well. I don't remember all the details. This is my curse, and now it's yours. Alright. 
big region Pokemart. Yes, you see, I'm fishing. Let's see what TMs I have in my version. You have. We got. Okay, I got synthesis. Wait, or recover? No. Oh, whatever. Small flames. I think that's ember. Size or claws? Uh, fury cutter. Okay. Oh, that could be broken. Oh, it's just got as many fury cutters as you want. I don't know how. It depends on how strong the base hit is. Uh, you Traps with a fire spin. You'd save and then buy. Yeah, it, I, I will out, just. I'll then... just buy them all. Yeah. You saved, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Except Ember, which I already have. Oh, this guy is a Gyarados. Just realized. Probably took care of that really quickly. Oh, jeez. Oh, I... Oh, that's gonna be a level. Flamethrower. Hey, what's the 1000 one? Uh, flat flash. Oh. That might not have, I think that was unchanged. I think the randomizer doesn't touch that one. Because it's for utility purposes. Despite it not being an HM in this game. Still, still valuable. Lowers accuracy. I used, I have used that a whole lot. Well, there is an area of the game where you still can use flash in a cave. And it's an optional area, but... Alright, heat wave. 130. Power. Oh, Magma Storm. That's Clamp, still water type. Is that Discharge? What? Discharge, 55 power, eh. Fairy Cutter. 90! 90! Oh, jeez! It's a bug type move, though. It is, yeah. It'd be great if I had a Bug-type Pokémon. It's still good even without a Bug-type Pokémon. Flash, Ingrain... Oh, Moonlight. Moonlight. So that's a recovery move. Uh... I think I have learned that. Wait, uh... Oh, I can't ride my bike through the swamp. No, you have to walk. Just trudge through the fucking swamp. In my nice little dress. Not for long, Jackie. <laughs> oh, and look. What gross, miserable region that is Sinnoh. It's a wet, gross, miserable region filled with wet, gross, miserable people. But enough about the Pacific Northwest. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Fury Cutter. No one. No one. Fuck all. Well, I'll hold on to it. I mean, you have it, so fuck it. Who can learn Flash? What? Is this guy oh, just... Oh, good. Wushadillo. It's a one-trick pony anyway. I can get rid of Flash, or get rid oh, of something. Oh, I'm... I'm stuck in... I appear to be stuck in the bog. This is a full-body mud pack. If it weren't, I would be struggling to get out. Oh. You have a nice life, lady. Uh. I. I'm stuck. Help! Oh, it could just randomly happen? Yeah. Isn't that a fun game mechanic? No. Getting stuck and not moving? Uh. It's great. Wild fun. I found what? Toxic? Is that toxic? Is that, is that toxic? Please let, please let it be toxic, because if it's toxic... What number was it? I... Uh, yeah, here it is! Toxic! Always number six. Alright, you know who I'm gonna give this to? Who? 
Yeah. You, you know. Cox? Cox, yeah. Why wouldn't Toxic. I? Toxic. Yeah, it uh, gives them badly poisoned, which uh, doubles every turn. I mean, any Pokemon can learn Toxic, but there was a point that... Okay, not until Gen 6, Toxic will uh, never miss if used by a Pokemon, if poison Pokemon. Yeah, as opposed to its, uh, what, 85% accuracy? Uh, yeah. It actually gets buffed next gen to a 90 accuracy. Oh. It's very slight, but... Yeah, yeah anyone can Toxic. Fucking... Except for the egg. Except for the egg. Oh, you give it a slug. That... Honestly, I'd rather use Tux. Just yeah. so I can... Get rid of, uh... Get rid of Stun Spore. Or, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a whole nother TM dealer! Oof. Double Chop. Scatters a big cloud of sleep-inducing dust. Oh, sleep powder. Wondrous Wall of Light. Uh, Light Screen. Reckless Life-Risking Tackle. Oh, it knows, ka knows Kamikaze, huh? Oh, these are the expensive ones. Energy Draining Punch. I think I have one of those already. Attack with a sharp chop. Good old karate chop. This emulator hates the rain. Yeah. I can't wait to get out of this fucking rain and level land. Karate chop, eh. Double edge, eh. Sleep powder, eh, 50. Cross chop, good power. I'd probably still go with rain punch if I had a fighting type though, cause dream. Yeah. I've taken your life. Now I will take your life. And your health with my drain punch. Banjo Kazooie vs. Jigsaw. I want to play a little game. Uh huh. Uh huh. I love games. Banjo, you idiot, he's probably talking about killing us. Can you keep up with us? Challenge by... With Wusha! Oh. Lu Lu Lucio! Show me yours. I'm gonna fight you now. Grass is super effective against lightning, right? Or like it's not ver like lightning. Lightning is not, is not very effective on grass. Okay, well, for some you. reason. Well, because it's grounded. Have you ever seen a lightning strike grass? Doesn't ever it. happen. I've seen it fuck up a tree. Yeah. Tree. <laughs> Could the what could the possible exclusive evolutions for Shield be? And one of one of them that they wanted was Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo. And it described it as a fighting type Pokemon. But we no, don't don't you love when people who don't know about the things they're writing write write articles? Yeah, just fighting type. It's a, no, it's clearly it's clearly grass type. What are you on about, writer? They knew it wasn't grass type. <laughs> they knew it wasn't grass type, but they missed the fact that it was a, a they rock type. the irony of the fucking Pokemon. God. Oh, I, I can't put him to sleep because he's already poisoned. Shit. I'll have to drain him. I think this is the last trainer before town. I think you're just on the cusp. It's a 
good thing that, uh... Okay, so the city I'm in is where Fly is at. Okay, Oh shit, I went the wrong way then. I'm gonna have to backtrack. Oh fuck. Paralyzed me. But... You're, you're, uh, you're toxic. Da -da -da -da. With a kiss on your lips. Well, he says he gave me embargo, but I'll bet he didn't. He gave me payback, which is eh. Which is what? It's eh. Yeah. Poison will take. <laughs> Toxic is really good. <sighs> What's he got? I don't. I, I missed it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's a water type though. Hopefully it's not water ground. Actually, water versus steel is not very effective. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's what I'm gonna do then. Let's go. Cool. Hey. Oh. Normal. Well, good thing I hit him with a confuse ray. Ugh, the shiny lights. Confuse ray, 100% accuracy. No need for swagger with confuse ray. Alright, well, I'm, I'm saved. If I I'm have it, healed. I could use them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check the, that grass that I went past. I guess I already did kind of see this route's grass. Got my frog and my dumb sparse. So, now I'm going to uh, extra sensory him to death. Oh, oh Jolteon. I already have you, though. Oh, he woke up, but he's still confused. That's it, I win. Please let there be a trainer. There's some very pain-sounding cries in this one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, that's, that, that beaver... Weasel cry just sounded like someone was ringing it out. I mean, it's been fighting in the rain. Of course, it needs to. Oh, shit. I don't think he's a trainer. I am not gonna take the chance. Festoria City. Phantasmagoria City. Melancholia City. Uh, that's the city that's uh, say, hey, a meteor's gonna come. It'll hit and it'll uh, it'll wipe us out. Everybody's like, you're you're an idiot. That's not, that's not gonna happen. No siree. And then uh, and she's like, yeah, I'm the idiot. Well, you don't know. God, that was a movie, Melancholia. Yeah? It's about like, uh. You, you referenced it in Majora's Mask. Yeah, it was about like, uh. It started off with like a girl, like a woman's wedding, right? And like immediately after her wedding and during her reception, she just. She just up and fucks somebody else just in the middle of every. of everybody. Yeah. And he get. And then he's like all really disappointed that that happened. I would imagine. 
And then, and then it turns into like a plot where it's like, hey, a rogue planet's gonna pass by us. And it won't, it won't hit us, don't worry. And then, uh... God, that movie... That movie was, was hard to watch. Just for a lot of reasons. Like, I don't know if it's a good movie. I, it, I mean, it, I'm sure, our, like, the uh, artistic crowd, the uh, cinemaphile crowd is like, Yeah, no, this is a really great movie. And I'm just watching, I'm like, I, I think, Well, my life feels uh, feels hollow after watching that. Thanks a lot. I think that fat guy up on the top right gives you something. Or the house that he's next to, maybe. Hollow one. Oh, great. Our standing is the middle of town. Ah, the dragon steel deer. Oh, he's the he's the move tutor. That that's why I remembered this house. Hey, if you forgot a move you want, I can help. Oh, but I need scales. I don't have heart scales. Fucking diminishing resources beat the game. Oh, water? Is that all? Okay, I'll be done with this pretty soon. I've got two Pokemon that are strong against water. Let's do this. Dragon Steel is a very Dragon Force style typing, so this deer will be Herman. Uh, Dragon Steel. Dragon Steel sounds like the name of a band. Yeah. Like a doom metal, like they play doom metal covers of Dragon Force songs. So off the top of my head, this is probably the most complex gym in the Pokemon series. Oh, fuck, is it Water Temple? It's not too crazy, but it is. It's water. a little bit long. Like you're gonna have to fight all the trainers, go out and heal, and then do the whole thing over again. My body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up in here. I work on my Pokemon and my spirit! That's good. That's- Oh! Hello! Challenged by two bird. What? Hey! Oh, it's a male. Male guard. No, you gotta re respect You're this. not my waifu. Oh, level 25. Shit, if I haven't been leveling Tux up, this might be a problem. I, th I think the game assumes you went the other way around the circle. Oh, Maybe. Maybe not. So you will, uh, you will be able to evolve Tux with a stone that you get a couple of towns. Evolve him? He's already evolved. A couple of towns from now. There's oh. one more form. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that was, that certainly was a thing. Oh, wow, trainer, you might be tougher than the gym leader. He only has got 104, like, yen on him. A buck four? Really? Kids ain't worth much. The money's in beating up adults. Oh, uh, do I need Surf to... No. Okay. But, okay, so you go down here. Oh. Well, why couldn't I... Okay, never mind. You know, you know what? Never mind. Hey, hey, you know what? Never mind. I have mastery over the incredible power of water. Oh, do you? Oh, you're a water bender. Okay, well. Sent out. Oh, what, what type is that? Water ground. <laughs> water ground, huh? Tux is proving very useful for this particular region. Yeah. Plant yeah. beats mud. Oh, do you survive? No. Good. Something bad. 
that is going to happen. Oh, so there's this uh, YouTuber called Puffin Forest. Yeah. And uh, and he he does uh, Dungeons and Dragons content, right? Yeah. And uh, and one of his videos was just him talking about a campaign that was going on, and about how uh, like he did the players discovered like a cursed sword of uh, of warning. And the whole gimmick of the cursed sword of warning was that uh, it would, you, it, every day it would wake up and then it would be like, something bad is going to happen. And they're like, what? And they're like, I don't know, it could be anything. So it's just the sword of cynicism. If, and then, Effectively. And then, if, and then when some player does something where it's like, ow, I stubbed my toe, and then times are going, I warned you! Yeah. And then just, just like, oh man, the thief stole all our money! I warned you! Because <laughs> it warns about danger, but it's like just. Oh, hey, hold on. No, this is, this this is, is where, where came you came in? from. Yeah, so what the fuck? This, this is. Oh, can I. No? Wait, okay, here we go. Okay, I got it now. But wait, no, this was... No, this wasn't. I've traveled all over the globe while raising Pokemon. Okay. I fought on the SS Anne. <laughs> what happened? Oh yeah, did that sink in the anime? I think it did. They did a full, like, uh... They did a Poseidon episode with the SS Anne. Before Poseidon, I believe. Besides adventure, it was the movie where the uh, ship was upside down underwater, right? Uh, or was it just upside down? Upside. The movie called Upside Down about a ship that capsized. I watched well, that's it. what no. Poseidon was about. Is the ship was upside down? I, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah. I think. Oh, that's flying type, but it's also water type. Yeah. So neutral. That's fine. It's only using water type moves on me. Th this is a curse. The curse of the male Gardevoirs. What if the female rate is like 1%? Or I, like I think point, it is 50 50. Or 0.1%. Or but I do always seem to like. Uh, I always run into more males than females. Ah. Uh, that's true for well, most nerd conventions. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Things are getting better now. Wants to learn oh, Giga, Giga Drain. Drain. Yeah. What's this PP level? How five. low is it? Five? Oh, ten. So ten. it's no longer five. It's better than before. Okay. Well... It is worth replacing. 40? Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's Mega Drain. Giga Drain is 80, so 60. Yeah. They really thought they were gonna have to keep drain attacks like low in Gen 1 yeah. to counterbalance that. <laughs> Fucking leech life. Yeah, 20 damage. Absorb 20 damage, great. <laughs> they they really like didn't figure it out until way later. I think Giga Drain is eventually buffed to 75 power. You know what? What? Go out. Come on. Spark is four times. Oh, yeah. I've now run into, uh, five male guard wars in a row? Maybe six? Our females are- oh shit, I got confused. Damn it. This is important, I'm putting this on video footage. Six. Six. 
What's your name? My name is Six. There's a... That movie fucking... Oh, shit! Oh, good thing that was just uh, chip damage. Oh, and you're poisoned. How about that? Giga Drain. Yep, 50-50. But what about the randomizer? Did that change the... That doesn't affect gender ratios. Uh... Got it. I am healed. God, his attack is just getting higher. I think it evolves at 30, maybe? <sighs> Remember when it didn't gain any electric attacks for me, but it did for the trainers? Yeah. Dumb. Dumb shit. What the? Oh. Just happened to be the same color. Got it. Yeah, level 30 for, uh, electric guy. So he's kind of almost there. Like, five levels away. Hi, what are you? Who else do you got? You got 36 for the monkey. I think 30 for, uh, Method Man. And 30 Oh, it does evolve? For... Yeah, it does. I'm fighting, uh, Tuber. Another one. Hey, Meryl. Oh! Hello! Oh, hey, Charizard. Just out here in the grass? And I missed my grass whistle. Got it that time. You are asleep. Jack and Jack, go to sleep. Jack. Oh, it's not, it's not water type. Nope. Damn. For some reason, Baby Morel is pure normal type. Well, maybe, maybe it uh, evolves to swim. Surprised he didn't use Splash once. Everybody thought Ash lost the league again, and it turned out it was just his bird sleeping. Yeah. That was, uh, certainly was a plot twist. Gotcha. He then went on to win, win the league. I will now ask anyone who has seen all several hundred episodes of the Pokemon anime, was it worth it? For this? Come on, we all know the answer to that question. It's a wholehearted <laughs> yes! Cause that was, I, I didn't realize that was the thing that like he never won. Cause I stopped watching. Like yeah, sometimes he'll win. And... Nope, never won. Now does that mean that he's no longer going to uh, be the main character? That there won't be more anime. Probably won't be more anime. Like no, uh, no Galar. I anime. thought I, I picked it up again once for like the beginning of the uh, of the Torchic like uh, at, like season like Gen three anime. Yeah. Right. And, uh, and I was, like, thinking, yeah, we'll have a new character and just learn their, uh, like, what their motivations are. And then Ash and his fucking Pikachu showed up again, and I'm like, what? What are the, what the fuck? I, let's just, can we just move on? No? They cared about. Never? They cared about the other characters in that show so little that May's plot was that, she was on a quest to find a reason to be on an adventure. Like, Dawn wanted to be, like, Pokemon contests, and I, I, I guess Misty wanted a bike. She wanted her bike back because Ash broke her fucking bike, but... Maze plot the real point. bike is the friends we made along the way, I guess, or whatever the fuck. 
May's plot point, as I understand it, is that she wanted a reason to care about Pokemon. Did she ever did she ever find it? I don't know. Is that that's that's not a good sign for a character though, if their point of being in the show is them finding a point for being in the show. <laughs> it's uh certainly is good as existentialism if it, you know, yeah. built up to anything. I've landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. Okay. Every fucking fisherman is quantity over quality. A zombie fisherman! Why, why you say zombie? No, that was a joke in, uh, Bayless did when he was doing I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Was it, it was that it was a fisherman from part one, except he was a zombie. Was, so that, there was a sequel. Yes. It was, Straight the first one video. was called, the first one was called I Know What You Did Last Summer. I know that And one. the sequel was called I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Didn't I Robot guess, Chicken parody that? And then there was another one that, that actually exists called I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. Oh. Everything's gotta be a trilogy. <laughs> yeah. It's a franchise. No, trilogy's too limiting. We gotta do. Is there a is there a hobo with a shotgun sequel? No. I mean the hobo. No, I don't want to spoil it. Hobo with a machine gun. Hobo, hobo with a boomstick. Or the hope or return of the shot. <laughs> return of the hobo with a shotgun. No, oh, that's dark type. And I flinched. Fuck. Maybe the sequel is uh, Hobo without a shotgun. The quest for a shotgun. He lost his shot. Uh oh. Motherfucker. It's okay, it doesn't need to be happy anymore. <laughs> what? How cynical! <laughs> I'm the happiest I've ever been! Evolves. Then it's all downhill from here. Your happiness is no longer of benefit to me. Spark. Oh, you're moving first? Why? Oh, shit. I'm getting really <sighs> fucked up. Gotcha. You, are you still get, getting like mail, like mail gear, like every uh, single one? Gear for <laughs> catch a male one, catch no! a female one, and just breed them. If I cut, if I could catch a female one, I wouldn't be having this problem. <laughs> well, I mean, I gotta, I gotta breed it with a ditto. After I beat the game, is that is that it? Is your quest Yay! over? Yay! Now don't don't fuck this up. Are you changing it to? I don't know. Let's keep fighting. Is that another gear? No, it's a uh, that. Oh shit! I just realized something. It's water ground. Yeah. So I got electric. That won't affect it. It it won't because it's one type is ground. Also, Gardevoir had less than 40 HP. <laughs> Oh, you flinched. Cool. Less than 40 HP, really? Dragon Rage killed it. Shit. Oh, so that, that must mean his attack stats are really high then, if its HP is low. Could be. Could be a glass cannon. Alright, I'm getting really fucked up. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go heal up. Oh, I can't yet. You can't even leave. You might as well make sure you've gotten every trainer before the gym leader. Oh, how, how about I? How about I just leave? How about that? I, I'm just gonna. I'm just, how about? How about I just go? I'm leave. I'm leaving. To the place to, I'm leaving. Yo, I'm going home to atone for abandonment. Oh, mumble rap. I, he, he doesn't mumble, I did, because I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> da, 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 da. What was it? Home Grove? Home Grove? I, I'm trying to think of what the line was. I'm leaving to a place dominated by... What the fuck was that? Hold on. I don't know what song you're referencing. It's a Blue Scholar song. I 
Colors, I think it's Blue Scholars. Could be wrong. What are the lyrics? I'm leaving? Uh, no, the, the, hold on. Leaving can... by Blue Scholars, I think, is the name of the song. No Google results. I could Blue be Blue Scholars, The Distance. Uh, is that the... There's no results for Blue Scholars leaving. Uh, I'm leaving. Just oh. say the lyrics you do know. Uh, hold on, I'm... Give me a fucking moment. I think I can figure this out. I can just type it in in two seconds. Uh, 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 so can I! No, you can't. You have a phone, not a keyboard. <laughs> Blue... <sighs> Alright. Okay. I healed. Alright. Oh, I got it. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh. Might not be. I might be. Actually be, uh. I don't know what it is. Okay, yeah, it's, uh. Chat, comments below. Tell us uh, if you know this song. To a... I don't know the fuck enough of the fucking lyrics. Out my head. Guys, stop yelling. So uh, I think I recorded the climax of the audiobook the other day. Oh, you think? That that was that was a little trying. Oh, really? That got loud. <laughs> Involved an in exorcism. Oh, cool. Uh, I already healed. What the fuck am I doing? So you are... I'm going back to the gym. Gym, that was it. I think I'm getting close to being done. Yeah. Uh, completed gym, that's good. One gym on the stream. If I could catch my fucking waifu, I would be so happy. Waifu wars now, there's the waifu wars. Why is everybody so? Hey yo! Why is everybody so obsessed with the uh, with Gardevoir? Well, Gardevoir. There are many. Before Gardevoir, there were many waifus, but then. Uh, but that was before what? Oh. oh. Oh, the eggs hatching. Okay, cool. Has it become? It's happeny. Happeny. I found a slowpoke. What the f it's a baby Chansey. Oh, okay. With, like, jogging pants. Chansey. What's the name of... Joooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
Take. Item. Take. Okay, cool. Item. Give. Hello, Art Guru. Hello. I actually want to change one of, at least one of my Pokemon nicknames when I get to, uh, when I get Fly so I can go back to the name raider. Alright, how the fuck did I do this last time? It's, it's, it's actually linear. Just, like, go to the next button you're able to hit. I just got a, uh, so my, this stream, my Wonder Guard Muck, who is a rock type, got rollout, which starts at 115 damage in my randomized version. And gets stronger every turn. So, uh, it, he just became my most broken Pokemon. Yes. The strongest. Logic logically, you would be able to surf on this water, but I don't think you can. Oh, the irony. Oh, why? The Gardevoir knows Dragon Rage. Oh. It could... Sir, I think that has to do with the duality of man and Pokemon or something. Oh, wait, over here. Hello, who are you? Please paralyze. That's just how I roll. Let's do this. Kick your ass. Challenged by Sailor Jerry. Sailor Samson? Rock Samson! Brock. Come in, Brock. Is that the first time we've ever, like, run out of a show? Yeah, we were, now we're waiting for the next season. All the other shows... Well, I guess JoJo. Well, JoJo as well, but that's self-contained. It's not like we ended that show on a fucking cliffhanger. Like, all the other shows we watch, we're just, like, struggling to catch up and keep up with. Yeah, no, we just ran out of Venture Brothers. So it's just those dragon shit. What, the Gardevoir? Yeah. Yep. So it's presumably a dragon type. It also knew Ice Fang. Oh, wow. Well, weird Pokemon. Oh, you're you're flying shit. I should have switched. Oh well. You're a flying shit, aren't you? You're flying type of shit. Just pure dragon. That's just a dragon. See, look, look at how obviously a dragon it is. It will try to guard its trusted trainer with its life. It's a dragon. It em embrace the dragon. Dragon. Hug Z. It's, yeah. the, it's the feeling Pokemon. I shall call her 003. Shell oops. Mom, let's keep it out of my... Eat everything. So no legendaries in this patch of grass. I did find a, a Charizard and a Gardevoir. Uh... If I, if I can find, I really hope I find Regigigas and or Slaking. Any, any of the Slaking family, I can then evolve into a Slaking. Since the randomizer will have most likely taken away their negative abilities. Yeah, I've been given it oh, only positive ones. Oh god, it's a, a, like one of those with Wonder Guard. That, that would make it broken. That's what I'm looking for! Alright. I've come. I've come to fight. Alright, what do we got? Uh, I got a couple things. Dragon Steel. Alright, I'm ready to fuck. Lots of defense. No attack. I don't get challenged very often. Oh. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. Cool. I'm Crasher Wake! Crasher Wake? <laughs> what? You're, that's lame. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. Oh, so you threw your Pokemon in, like, rapids. 
You fuck- you fuck her. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then PULL YOU UNDER! Remember when Ash fought that one dude who was like, training his Pokemon really roughly? And oh yeah, Ash the thought asshole. thought he was being inhum inhumane, but then the- the- He's like, oh no, they actually do care for each other. No, I'm doing like, uh, serious pro trainer methods. The Macho Brace. Apparently the anime, this guy is, uh, well, first off, he's obviously a mass wrestler. Yes, he's, uh, I think in the anime, he's voiced by Gohan. He's, by uh, Kyle Hebert. Ah! Okay, starting out with the Gyarados. So just hit it with the fucking Giga Drain immediately. Dragon Steel Deer is nothing important, nothing significant. Restores HP if hit by an electric move. But it's a ground type. Yeah. Oh, can't be hit by electric moves. I wonder which of, which one of those takes priority. And I flinched. Fuck. Oh, he got poison pointed. And yeah, he got poison pointed, but I flinched. Oh, he's. Ah, confuse. Let's fucking use the swagger. Ah. Try that again. My uh, bug Charizard, all bug moves. Oh, he knows Fury Cutter. Oh, sweet. Well, <laughs> so that's an insect then. Yes, it's a, dra it's a dragonfly, and it weakens the power of fire type moves, which negates one of its weaknesses. Oh, actually, that's actually pretty good. Uh, Slowpoke is a dark poison, <laughs> Sith Lord. <laughs> Special attacker still has a Slowpoke ability. Poison jab, crunch. Eh. Yep, let's try this again, Master Week. Sorry, and Crash Week. Dragon Gardevoir has forecast. Cast form transforms with the weather. <sighs> can't randomize everything. So, Gardevoir trans. Wait, it can't. What? So How's that gonna work? It has a useless ability that does nothing. For cast form. Unless oh. it. Unless it, like. The sun comes out, and then it turns into a fire-type cast form. But it knows ice. What the f- Well, darn, I don't think Gardevoir is gonna be useful. I mean... And... Oh, you're using Dragon Rage. That's oh. cool. Charizard, maybe. What are these uh, attack stats like? Okay, so I can uh, I can I can replace lion. Oh wow! Oh, it's it's just dragon type. It's not water type. Uh, or it's dragon water type immune against grass. Oh, it's flying. Okay, that explains that. Uh, in that case, Charizard, you're in. I think that's it for. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got a new opening move. I'm gonna use grass whistle. I'm gonna grass wh whistle it to sleep and then. Slowpoke strikes me as the kind of Pokemon that gazes on into the endless void. Actually, wait, void. no, hold on. Dreaming of the end of the world. Oh, yeah. Canonically, that's, uh, that's Natu. Or Zaytu, those, those totem birds. Yeah. They just stare blankly, and it's rumored that they're just, they're witnessing the end of the world. Just seeing into the future. Yes. So... So, if it's... So, will it see happier times when the end of the world comes? Maybe. Is that what's going on? Uh, I don't know. You think this bird is just staring out thinking, Man, I can't wait till those fucking humans are dead. F screw those guys. And then it'll be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Fucking... There's a Diglett with, like, a Dugtrio, right? Because you can, you're, uh, the Pokemon actually speak in human, or you can understand them. Yeah. Like, the dig was like, hey, Dad, uh, what do you think is going on in the world? Well, our son! Because, you know, uh, Doug Trio is like three of them. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't remember if I went up the tower or not. I might still have to. Alright. You're gonna wanna bite me. Am I gonna flinch? Nope. I, I gotcha. You're dead. I did not go up the tower. Oh, jeez, it survived. Wow, impressive. 
I, I, every time you say that, I think of that scene in Spider-Man where Spider-Man throws a punch. Green Goblin just catches it. No effort at all. It goes impressive and then immediately counterattacks. One of the best scenes in that in that uh, movie. Oh, you switched out. Who's taking the Who's taking the hit? Quag oh, is that a ground type? Uh, water ground. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Oh, this this feels like it's gonna be a wake up call. All right. Uh. So Willem Dafoe was not the one in the Green Goblin suit, right? I. Well, I think we can safely I, assume that. I'd like to. I'd like to think that it was just like. What are you, you kidding me? Let me put on the fucking suit. No, I can do it. I want to do it. Put me in, coach. G give me the fucking. I. I'm. I signed up. Nicholas Cage's head was actually on fire. <laughs> No, I mean, you can... Honestly, you can put him in the suit and really not lose a whole lot. Like, or not risk anything. Just put him in the fuck... He wants to be in the suit. Yeah. Well, and this is crazy. You're too valuable to Hollywood. We can't lose you. Put me in the I want to do my own stunts. The suit's ready for human testing. We have to... Back the, back the formula. I mean, he did some stunts. He did a, a thing where he's like crouched, like jumped up on something, and is like crouching down all menacing. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, just do a. Uh, oh, what was the the deep fake? Do that, but swap the faces of Norman Osborn and Green Goblin for every scene. The, so just with a mask? Yes. What? He's walking around in his suit with the goblin face. I don't know. I don't know if that would work, but that'd be fun. Somebody actually did one where they swapped out Keanu Reeves' face in the Matrix with Bruce Lee. Yeah. And somebody's like, it's just, it's just Asian Keanu Reeves. And somebody's like, funny you should mention that. Yeah, because he is Asian. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Miltank. You like rollout? What did it hit me with? I guess it doesn't matter, I got him. <laughs> Wait, Whitney! Fuck you! How bad could she be? <laughs> God, Whitney's fucking mill tank. Oh, it ate something. Muscle band! What does that do? Actually, wait, how heavy is Gyarados? Uh, it won't matter. Grass is one-fourth effective against it. Oh, is it? Re oh, yeah, because... But it's water type. No. Slightly boost the power of physical moves. Okay. Uh-oh. I, I did it. I did it. It knew. It knew. They knew, Zelrog! Why didn't he do that in the first place? Fucking... Alright, I'm gonna try to be fancy. Uh, I wonder if every floor of this tower is randomized, so it could be a totally different, non-ghost Pokémon. be interesting. Swift, that's it. Aqua Rhapsody! How about this? Gotta play my battle harp. You are confused now. Hit yourself. Do it. Come on, do it. Damn. I think, I think that's it for me. Uh, not very effective. Oh, is it not? Oh, wow, okay. Oh, I'm gonna hit him with, uh, extra sensory. Will it be enough? Is this his last one? No, he's- Gyarados is still active. I'm gonna switch to- Oh, Aww. he needs one more. He's probably- is he gonna heal? No, because he already uses healing. Okay, good. I'm just waiting for his confusion to- Yep, I got him. I love how I'm going up a- a-, a <laughs> graveyard and beating up everyone on my way. <laughs> Yeah. Taking berries off of graves. 
Method Man needs the levels. He's really... Oh, if there was no target... I sensed nothing! Let's use Gyarados. I will switch Pokemon. Alright, what? Finish him off. I want a pool floaty in the shape of a float soul. <laughs> Could exist. <laughs> oh man, this is... Oh, he just cut each other's attack down. It, 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 look, look at what, he's so scary. Oh, Pupitar, where can I get one of those? Oh shit, he used Swagger again. Oh, but if I hit him, it's, it's, it's triply, he's triply dead. Oh, come on, please. He's a Gyarados. Yeah, I got him! It's He's over. Doing some kind of motion to convey swagger. Just it just, just uh, stands on its tail and just kind of moves its body yeah. in a weird way. Alright, and what levels up? Nope. Yeah, the Gyarados dabs, that's what it does. Uh, how... I, I want more! Oh, you will. I wanted to battle a lot more! Oh, that's sad. Seems the undertow pulled me under. <laughs> I had a great time battling with you. Burn this! Oh, here we go, Shuckle. I guess it'll just be a normal Pokemon now. Because normally it's just totally min-maxed is its stats. Oh, yeah, so it'll just be like a, a, a an average Pokemon. Unless its stats somehow... No, no defense. You can now use Defog. <sighs> That's not fly. Damn it! What's Defog do? It gets rid of fog. Oh god! Is that really a problem in this it's, game? Uh, it's an HM that's useful on one route, and it never comes back to the series again because I realized it was fucking useless. What, 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 what does the move do? Uh, it's actually a useful move in competitive, in that it uh, it gets rid of stage hazards like spikes or. Uh, Oh, what? That's a thing? Yeah. Oh. Spikes or, uh, what's the other move? Stealth Rock. Ah. Okay. Did you complete I... your gym yet, or are you still at the tower? I'm still at the tower. I think you can just walk behind him, around the outside. Oh, around the outside? Around the outside. Fuck. This. Gem. This gym sucks. I'm never going back here again. Doesn't even give me Surf. Give me fucking Defog. In modern That's... games, the move Defog is more useful in battle in the overworld. Because it's not useful at all in the overworld. <laughs> it's more useful in battle. This is true You mean here. it has a use? Yeah, Spikes and Stealth Rock. I think it might blow away barriers, like, uh, ref like, uh, reflect and light screen. That'd be useful. I'm not positive. You want to the Pokemon Center? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember where it is. I think it's south. I can, I can see you just, like, lazily one-handing your controller. Hey, I'm pressing the run button with my controller with my other hand. Yeah. Oh boy, Cricketot, I want one. Nah. Uh, Where the fuck are you? Not over there. Oh, I found secret power. Watch it be like 300 damage. Oh, here it is up here. Sit unchanged. Yep. Take the Pokemon. Hey, Cricket Dot. I'm good. I don't need one of those. Yep. You can continue being in this graveyard, Cricket. Cricket. Crickety Ricket. So, are we done then? Are you- uh, you're not done yet with your thing, so... 
I, I'll go as, lo as long as you are willing to go. Uh, well, what's the... I guess this is the way to the next route. Uh, yeah, that continues the uh, circle. Up to the, the north of Pastoria was uh, the Safari Zone. Oh. Yeah, sure, I'll fuck around in there trying to get some good Pokemon. What's the cost? Ma and Pa. Eh. Welcome to the Great Marsh! Oh, great, more mud. 500 Pokebucks. Sure. 30 Safari Balls. Here we go. No trainer battles here, I hope. Uh, no. I found this during the Safari game. Oh, great. Just handing them out? Hidden machine to fog. Oh, it's good. I got it here. Just lock Pay this behind 500 bucks. Pay 500 bucks to get into fog. That's going to be used in like, uh, in like a game over or something. I guess Defog isn't mandatory at any point. It's like Flash and that it helps getting through, but... Ooh, what are you? It's a bug fella. I can either wait, run, or mud. Rocks are too violent. Now we throw mud at them. What's the one do? Bait, like... Bait makes them harder to catch, but less likely to run, I believe. And I think mud is the opposite. Okay, well, I'm just gonna throw a ball then. Safari zone. Cool, I got it. Montreal. Oh no, what? Bait makes it easier to catch, but more likely to run. Okay. And mud is opposite. A uh, stuff. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna come to oh. the safari zone to catch. I, I'm not come co because safari zone catch the fucking birds. You idiot! You did get some fucking birds. Burb. Sorry. Oh. The it's, a, it's not a trade evolution, is it? No. Okay, it's water psychic. Well, I It's a uh, water stone, and it is never actually a psychic type. It's just water. Just water. I already got a water. I, the Pokemon actually vary from uh, part of the one part of this marsh to the next. It's fairly big. But I don't think they vary too, too much. Is there anything, like, important in here? Other than the HM, no. Oh, god damn it. That's the only, like, major thing. I mean, it's a good thing you don't have to catch and get a dude's, like, teeth. No, they did not hide two HMs inside the Safari Zone. Oh. Getting stuck in the mud, what the fuck? Good mechanic. Wild fun. items scattered about. I don't know if any of them are amazing or anything. Oh. Who really wants me to catch those burbs? Catch the burbs. Catch the burbs. I got a paralyzed heal. Great. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh, hey! Flygar. Do I want you? Are you useful? Slime God! Juggernaut! Is 
It's a fucking tra- oh. This is a fucking train. It is. That's how big the safari zone is. is. Oh, but it's- you go up here. Wait, what? Apparently. Hold on, I got I gotta I gotta look this up before I start talking about it. I don't wanna I don't wanna talk out my ass. Okay, go ahead, look it up. where it was. Maybe it was, uh, I don't know how official it was either. I remember seeing a, uh, like some, someone posted on, uh, on Twitter an excerpt from some article about Mr. Mime that, uh, -huh. uh apparently a part of its lore at some point was established that it, uh, it, like, hypnotizes single mothers. The fuck? And, like, Why, it, it tries to blend in with human society and often replaces, like, missing fathers. And I don't know if this was actually official anything anywhere or if someone was just put making a joke because of the anime. It sounds like a joke, but... It sounds like a joke, yeah. Because it's just... But what if it's not? It then... What if that's lore? Cool, I got a whooper. That's a Pokedex entry. When the temperature cools in the evening, they emerge from water to seek food along the shore. Oh, that's right, they're nocturnal. This thing killed my slime god. It's almost certainly not going to be worth it. You sound very tired. I'm sick, man. Bo you're oh, he knows beat up. Uh-oh. Fortunately, it's wild, so it can't effectively use it, but... I... I can harness your powers for my own. Perhaps it will be better than Wushadillo. Which is also a name I kind of regret. By the way... Yeah? Is there a tiger Pokemon? Uh... Yeah, like a big old tiger. If not, there should be. Yeah, there should be, right? Like, have you seen those tiger, like, tiger cubs? They're, they're adorable. Why did I throw enough? Oh, I'm gonna catch two of them. Why did I catch two of them? I got another fucking whooper. Now we can no breed them. Fuck it. They're both males. So? I know there's lion Pokemon. I can't think off the top of my head of any tigers. I want a, I want a tiger Pokemon. Pipsqueak and the Duke. <sighs> oh my god. I'm just gonna take all the fucking whoopers out, and then just... Yeah. I, I know the situation in the anime art guru, that's why I was referencing it, but... I'm curious if this was official lore, where they would have gotten it from. Uh, uh, oh, hey! I already have one of you. Well, no longer, but... Alright, got my HM. Strength? Found honey. Good 
solid useless item. At least for our playthrough. Actually, you know what? What? Psyduck. Is that another fucking Psyduck? God damn it. Alright, Strength, how good are you? Eh. What's on the top floor? It's... Whales! Whale Lord. Why are... It's Why are whales on the top of your tower? <laughs> There's just a whale just chilling at the top of the tower on top of a bunch of knocked over graves. Like Valu on top of the fucking mountain. <laughs> and it knows how to roost. There's a whale lord roosting atop this tower. <laughs> Hold on. Can I just use honey? And, uh, well, does it use it once if I... It attracts wild Pokemon and then is used up. Oh, well, fuck. I don't wanna... How... Uh, can I buy it or do I have to find it? Uh, you can buy honey. Okay, well, maybe maybe I'll use it that way, but... For now... I do oh, not who are you? Revives. What are you? Carnivine? What? I, I don't recognize you. It's like uh, it's like a fucked up victory bell. Fucked up is right. You're going. You're coming with me. <laughs> Dead or alive. That you're looks like something that would drop off the ceiling in a horror movie. It's only about carnivine. Hanging from branches using its tentacles. It looks like a plant. It's from Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Poison Ivy uses this thing. Batman has a crowbat. So that whatever the, this whale is a flying type. It's a it's the wind fish. <laughs> Yes! Uh, like, like Hepburn? Uh, is, is that Ivy's name? Audrey too. I, I'm trying to think. That was the name of the plant from Little Shop of Horrors, right? Oh, was it? I, I have no idea. Right, let me look it up. The biggest of all Pokemon. It, is it? I guess it's a flying steel type. It's a. It's an airship. <laughs> the airship Pokemon, Whale Lord. Uh. I shall call her the SS Marin. I've missed an E, probably. Just a regular reminder that Whale Lord is capable of breeding with Skitty. Yep, Audrey 2. But I. Uh, nope. Audrey 3. We already had a 2. Saving a lot of data. It takes a long time to save a whale lord's data. <laughs> also, it's a terabyte. In and of itself. I wonder how much how, how much space is a Pokemon. I got Aud Audrey. Two. Oh, I should probably look at. Uh, I forgot. I should probably look at uh, my. Uh, Yeah. It's supposed to be joy. It's a... It's a docile nature. It's alert to sounds and happily eats anything. It's... Happily eats anything. Oh, it being docile. It's, uh... Five and all. All, all awesome. status problems are healed upon switching out. That's, that'd be used. Pound and charm? Yeah. That's it. Let's catch me a uh, flower. Probably won't keep uh, keep that one for very long. What happening? Yeah, I don't think it'll be a man. He's a party member. Not, not that good. vine looks interesting, though. Oh, not Meryl. interested in a chancy. The vine doesn't evolve. That's all it is. Oh, is so it's useless then. Yeah, pretty much. 
Do I have a Meryl? I don't know. You have an Azumarill? No, you don't. Just a whole mud region full of mud Pokemon. This... What the fuck? It's like, it's like, uh, if the fucking, uh, Duck Dynasty dudes had, uh, like, Pokemon trainers. The, uh, the regional... Uh, Poison Pokemon. Its breath has the fantastic ability to revive dead plants and flowers it's, it's, with no, its poison. You don't understand. It's toxic to death. Like, yeah. death can't touch the soul because it's once like it does, the, its bones rot. It's so. like Sashomaru's sword. Yeah. We're gonna cure death? Tessaiga! So we got a Meryl, right? Yeah. I don't know what's just Meryl Strife. <laughs> Audrey 2 was the name of the plant in Little Shop of Horrors. Feel like it would've liked contests more if you got a better reward out of it than just a ribbon sh slapped on your Pokemon. But what people who don't like contests, though, would, would you want, like, an important reward locked behind those? Is the other side of it? What could a what could a good reward for contest be? You think, Art Guru? I liked contests in Gen Three when it was just the moves part. It's oh, I found him! Here he is. When they added the dancing and all that shit is uh, is when I fell off with the contest. It, I, I only thought they got really dumb in this game. So when does it end after a certain amount of steps, or...? Uh, steps or balls. Okay. Maybe a rare battle item. Yeah. God damn. Or like, uh, like battle points, like they use later for the, the battle frontier and that sort of thing. Things that you can use to get rare items. Master Ball. Ooh, that'd be that'd be tempting. Ooh, like if oh god, two mask you get. You can't even buy be... Master Balls with uh, battle points. You know what? If if there was a Master Ball, right, that would actually fix a whole lot of thing things about it. It would fix a whole lot of thing. A whole lot of thing. Oh wait. Oh, I somehow managed to wander back down here. It's pretty much you know, like you go to the top and then it's all ledges on the way down. Oh. Relegated to a lottery system these days. It was always a lottery system. Ever since Gen 2. Oh no. I'm stuck in the mud. Now I have to fight a bird. Use all my Pokeballs on this thing. I'm, I'm gonna try and get him in a Premier Ball. He's gonna be special. And then I'm gonna catch him and look at his stats. He's gonna be useless for some reason or another. What if he knows how to roar? Uh. Oh, he... Oh, sorry, he's doing high jump kick. He is, he's a high bouncer. How many useful moves I can I can use? I don't have any, uh... I don't have any sleep or paralysis moves. I can't... Found a Pokeball, good and go me. I don't like this swamp mechanic at all. Yeah, it, it, it sucks. It is terrible. There, there are many small things people disliked about this game, this generation, that kind of came together. Zone. 
Well, I'm assuming it's at the very top. Can I not? I don't know that the, any Safari Zone ever quite lives up to the Safari Zone in uh, Gen 1 again. Gen 1 had a lot of goodies in it. It's like... There was a lot... You suddenly had all of these super rare and interesting Pokemon available. Yeah, and now, no, we gotta balance it out. No, put, put, put fucking Whooper in there. It's like you go to, like, to like a grand zoo, right? With all these, like, rare creatures and, like... Like rare tigers, and then, and then like you go to another zoo, and you're expecting it to be like even better, but it's just a bunch of farm animals. Yeah, it's a petting zoo. This is a petting zoo. Aha! <sighs> I mean, I might as well. Honestly, you know, you know when a lot of stuff appears in the Safari Zone. After you beat the game. After you beat the game. Yeah. Gee. Hey. Well, you know, the game itself was pretty bad, but the post-game, man! I don't like a pro- I just want to play the game. Don't- don't make me play- Yeah, the final third of the game, that's when the game gets, like, really good. Playable. Yeah. Am I gonna catch this? I mean, I, I don't he's not know. running away! Run out of bounds, please. I can't throw a Pokeball at it while it's up in the air. So I just have to plot and think about how I'm gonna throw my next ball. Or hurt myself. Red Rip Moltres. So his legs are. So he replaces his legs with springs. The noises Reggie makes in the anime crack me up. I've heard that said about them. I don't remember what the Reggie sound like, but I'm told they sound weird. At least you get all the uh, interesting Pokemon. Yeah. I get shit. I get like the Pokemon they deem it fit to give me until the post game. So I think. So this is it's worth noting. This is the generation that I dropped off of Pokemon until Sun and Moon. Like I didn't play the few after this. After this generation happened. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Grateful. So, so by going by precedent, does that mean that uh, that after uh, Sword Shield, the next generation is gonna be like really good, I, really popular? Honestly, I think Nintendo is at this point cutting their losses with Sword and Shield. Like they have to still promote it. Like, hey, buy this great new game! But they know with the national decks they and fuck. everything, they know they, they're gonna be taking a hit with this. They one. they they know they fucked up. All right. I'll let you try to catch uh, Reggie Giggy Guy Giggy Giggy Sigahaga. Reggie, uh, fill me. You should talk to that suspicious fellow over there. To He's the right? suspicious. Oh, is that a is that a Team Galaxy member? It's Sailor Galaxia. Sailor, it's a Sailor Galaxia. Oh no. Uh, hmm. I don't have any non damaging moves I can use. Uh oh. Well, in that case, you should, uh. Battle items! A X special! I just gotta waste a turn. A special attack bros. XY was really bad. I liked XY. A lot of people didn't. That was one of the off generations. This is my life. I don't have any revives to. I don't think I do. To bring any of my other the Pokemon back. The package hasn't arrived. I have to go there myself. I have to wait until then. Wish I, I would, wish I could blow shit up. Smashing. So, oh, uh. You gotta go to the... Maybe you gotta go to the next town before he does anything. Okay. I'm not gonna catch this fucking thing. Is he gonna bounce? He's gonna kill me. Heal! If it happens, it happens, you know. I don't even have any good HP restores. He's just gonna look at him, right, as he's coming down, and the only thing he can do is scream. 
Just wait, accept it with open arms. This is my melancholia. <laughs> Reggie Gygus is falling. No, uh, we're gonna we're gonna build a TP and we're gonna see Reggie Gygus hit the planet and destroy it. Soon. Hey Ash, there were there were exactly this many beans in the in the container. That's how I know that the world's gonna end. And then the woman's like, what the fuck? So, uh, next time. I know where he's at. Next time. I, I will catch my Reggie guy, I guess. I got my HM. I'm going in with one Pokemon down already. The plot was kind of stupid. Who plays Pokemon games for the plot? They're always stupid. It's just, hey... People want edgy yes, plots. Yes, we're it's... evil! We're stealing all of the Pokemon! Do people, some insidious world edgy destroyed plots. Destroyed that's, that's how you get stuff like Pokemon Uranium and Pokemon Reborn. Yeah. Man, I gotta, I gotta find the Pokemon Uranium, uh... Pokedex, because that, that shit has something hilarious, like, uh... What, wait, what am I doing? What are you? Are you a trainer? Whatever. I will say about X and Y, I will get to those as well, but, uh... I did not particularly have fun exploring the New York region. I thought it was kind of bland. And then I'd suddenly XY, it was very nice and pretty, and it felt like an adventure again. It was a very happy, uplifting game. I liked that for- I liked it for that. I liked exploring France more than New York. France is a better region, I guess. It was a lovely place. Oh, you get- you hit me with the Aqua Jet. Or the previous one. I think it's this one, because it had, like, the legendary encounter. Yep. Okay, so I, I know where it's at. I'm in the right spot. Are we done for today? Uh, let me... I'm, I'm trying to find the fucking, uh, Pokemon Uranium Pokedex, because there's one that I that I found that I thought was, like, really fucking... Yeah? Uh, like, just... Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Uh, no, no. Oh! Here, here's one actually that lo actually looked uh, pretty good. The, these two down here. That's a UFO Pokemon, and it evolves into like a slightly bigger UFO Pokemon. Yeah, that was pretty. That, that, I like that. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to find uh, a certain one though that I that I saw, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Let's see if I can find that. Then we we'll, then we'll end it. Oh, this one's this like higher quality image. Uh, no. Where are you? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, this this one's good, too. So you got the the crab, right? And it's in a, it's in a coconut. Yeah. And it evolves in, like, a sandy beach, like... Like a tree. And then... Then an island. Yes! I like that. That's pretty good. Now, where where the fuck is the, the one I'm looking for? I'll, and I'm not. And I know exactly what it looks like too. So I just, just need to. Just looking at a list of all the all the Pokemon. On in uranium, yeah. But I I know exactly what it looks like. I just need to. For fuck's sake. Pokedex. Uh. Ghost. Now, we're not going to be able to show it on stream anyway. Yeah. Because I, it's on your phone. That's true. If it's just a picture, it's probably not. We're not worth it. Oh, here we go. This is uh. I mean, you can bring this up if you if you look up the Pokemon and show it on screen. Anyway, this is the this is the Pokemon I was talking about. <sighs> look up idea. uh Pokemon uranium, here. L I N K I T E. Pokemon Uranium Wiki. Yep. Now. It's got artwork. Yes, it does. They all do. They're a base. 
You have, uh, you've mentioned this Pokemon before. Yeah, but I want to show it off, because... Oh, no, can't drag and drop. That'd yeah. be too easy, Obs. It's the... It's the shackled Pokemon. How oh, come it's not showing up? It's because it's like... PNG or something? Should show up if it's PNG. This takes so long you to You want to know it's a Pokedex entry? You can read it's Pokedex entry. The spirit of a Pokemon that died inside its Pokeball has forgotten its original appearance, so it takes the form that you currently see. It's supposed to be something specific. Do you oh. recognize it? Uh, yes, it's a Poke Doll. Yeah. It will not show up in the browser. Are you serious? That's so weird. I download. I are what, you? Is it not register as an image? Okay, that was weird. I had to go to all files. For some look reason, at, it wasn't an image file. Look at that shit. There it is. It's a polka doll. Polka doll with like a ball and chain. So somebody said about that thing's evolution. I looked up the evolution and I burst out laughing. So here's a. Uh, here's here's. So look up the evolution chain. I eat. It looks, it looks so fucking off-brand. Yeah, kinda. Kinda off. A malicious and dangerous Pokemon. Why does it, it feel like this happens every time OBS updates? Because is that I suddenly cannot drag and drop images to OBS? Well, because it's... It, 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 there he is. It's like, it's super possessed now. It's a, a malicious and dangerous Pokemon. It seeks revenge against the trainer who abandoned it. Its shackles are reinforced in order to keep its violent nature under control. Yeah. <laughs> Edge. Would you consider that edgy? Kinda. Not not too bad. It's not I don't it's think not, it's I, mean, I don't think it's as off brand as you think. With yeah. there are some Pokemon designs that are in that sort of vein. Spiritomb comes to mind. Yeah, but that, that's cartoony. That looks like a fucking like hollow. I guess, kinda. Also, the, the thing being chained to its Pokeball, the imagery is just like, yeah, they're cause, get it? Because they're slaves. Yeah. Alright. Alright, well... Why does it look like the substitute? Because it's a possessed substitute, It's doll. a... forgot its original form, so it takes the form of a substitute. <sighs> that's, that's it the for explanation. today. That's Yeah, that's it. We've been gone for a little bit. Well, uh... We're planning to go to the Smash. Well, that was tomorrow. the plan. It depends on how I feel. I guess I'm... we'll see. Yeah. I don't know if we'll stream anything tomorrow or not yet. Probably not, but in the air. You never know. Thanks for hanging out, Art Guru. Anyone else who is watching, we'll see you guys next time. See you.